Skywalker. Yeah. What's that? Oh, we're live. Oh, my apologies. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is launching this week, and we have some very bold predictions about what will happen in the game, so let's talk about it. Are you listening? Hey, welcome back to day two of Star Wars week. That's right, in case you missed it, all week long we are celebrating the launch of Star Wars Jedi Survivor from EA and Respawn. And with the release date getting so much closer, I figured it is the perfect opportunity to speculate and talk about the five things that I hope to see happen in the upcoming Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And let's be e extremely clear here. I haven't read any spoilers. I, I haven't even played the game yet. So every Everything that I'm about to say is 100% speculative. Like, for example, I want to see Obi-Wan Kenobi make a cameo in this game. I mean, I'd like to see a lot of cameos, but Obi-Wan would be sick. I mean, the first game, Jedi Fallen Order, did such a fantastic job with respecting canon and tying characters from the Star Wars cinematic universe into the gaming universe. We saw people like Chewbacca and Saw Gerrera, but when it comes to Jedi Survivor, I mean, we know that this takes place during the same time period as Disney Plus's Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So, I'm just saying that it would be absolutely awesome if Cal was sent to Tatooine to seek out a former Jedi Knight that is currently in hiding, and just as he's about to give up his search, or Cal is in danger and about to die, a helping hand comes from off screen, only to reveal an aged Ewan McGregor. And on the topic, of cameos just for bonus points here i also think there's a really good chance that we see senator bail organa as he is heavily involved in the rebellion and with this game taking place nine years before a new hope it would make sense that cow and company would cross paths with the rebellion leader all right so moving on to number two my prediction here or i guess wish and i'm pretty confident that we're going to see this is i want to see the game bring us back to the jedi temple like we have seen a lot of coruscant in the trailers for this game and i, I genuinely hope that we get a moment where Cal returns to the now fallen Jedi Temple. And fallen is the key word to remember here, because following Order 66, the Jedi Temple was turned into a palace for the Emperor. All the Jedi artifacts were destroyed, and it was converted into an Imperial Palace filled with statues of the Emperor. And Palpatine actually now lives in that former Jedi Council room that we saw throughout the films. And I trust the people at Respawn and EA to make a great game, but it would be so sad sick if Cal had to go like undercover into the former Jedi temple and while he was there he was like sensing all the evil and the death that happened in that building. A moment like that would be so powerful in a game like this. Plus, that's a moment that in Star Wars lore, we really haven't seen. I mean, I would love to be able to roam the halls of the new Imperial Palace with Cal in this game, and I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. And moving right along to number three, my friends, uh, I want to see more of the path. Now, admittedly, that's kind of a deep cut here, so please just Stay with me for a second. During the Disney Plus Obi-Wan Kenobi series, we learned about the Path, which in a way was like an underground railroad smuggling system to get the Jedis and the Force-sensitive children away from the reach of the Empire. In the show, we see Obi-Wan actually use the Path as he's trying to escape the Empire, and feeding into the speculation that we might see it in the game, we hear Cal mention of trying to find a new home far from the reach of the Empire. So, whether Cal has created the Path or we see Cal assist the the early rebellion uh, smuggling the force sensitive children away from the empire this could be a really cool plot point in the game and a really awesome way to like push the game back into the cinematic universe and create like this web of continuity. Number four on my list, we have space combat. Let's face it, EA is responsible for some of the best Star Wars flight simulations out there. And the combat systems for those games are ridiculously good. Personally, I'd love to see EA as a company kind of grab hands and work together, and maybe share the love a bit, and give us a moment in this game where Cal has to grab a speeder bike, or a TIE fighter, or maybe even like a rebellion ship, and is forced to go on a dogfighting mission throughout space. And I don't need this to be like the entire game, but if Star Wars Jedi Survivor could give me like a taste of dogfighting in space, I would be a very 
happy man. And we've reached the conclusion of the list. Number five, bring back the big guy. Now in Jedi Fallen Order, we 100% got one of the coolest moments in the game where Darth Vader confronted Cal. But let's also be honest with ourselves. Cal kind of uh, escaped with his tail between his legs. So in Jedi Survivor, I would love to see a true confrontation where Cal fights Vader for a second time. Cal is now a Jedi Knight. Vader has become a more powerful Sith Lord, and clearly Vader wouldn't die, but have Vader be the overarching villain of the game. Like this constant in-game threat that you don't know when he's going to appear, but when he does, it's about to go down. I mean, as a Star Wars nerd, I will take any opportunity I can get to have like a fight sequence against Darth Vader. But yeah, I think any one of these five things happening would be totally sick. So yeah, these are my five hopes. What do you all think? What, what are you hoping to see with Star Wars Jedi Survivor? For me, it's gonna be very interesting to come back to this video after the game launches on April 28th and see what I got right and what I was so incredibly wrong about. And remember, we are celebrating Star Wars all week long. So if you want more Star Wars videos surrounding Star Wars Jedi Survivor, please hit that like button, subscribe to Nerf Gaming News, may the force be with you. And if you forgive me, I gotta get back to my Jedi training.